Well, we're definitely going to have, have to go up a level. I think um, you know, as the as the tournament goes on, the intensity does rise because everybody gets used to that uh, test match pace and intensity. Um, we'll be better for the hit out last week against Scotland, and I'm sure England will be from from Italy. But you know, uh, physicality wise, they're one of the biggest sides in the world. Um, we, when we played them last year at the at the, at the stadium, though, know, it was a really massive battle up front, and. Uh, it's going to be win and loss there. I think um, they drove pretty well against us. I'm pretty smart, and um, and you know we managed to match them on the game line, open play, but you know weren't quite accurate in the in the closing minutes to close the game out. And they uh, took their try well and, and finished it off. So it's going to be a it's going to be a, a, a tough match, and you know how tough it's going to be playing the you know the double six nations champions, and you know they're going for a record third. So um, they'll be confident, and uh, no. We're just looking forward to the task ahead. You know, looking back, um, some of us were involved back in 2012, uh, done well at the World Cup there as well. And um, you know, when we were up there two years ago, we, you know, we finished the game really strong and um, and, and could have snuck the result in the end. Um, you know, we have had some success there, so it's uh, it's not somewhere we fear, but we know how, how difficult the job's going to be. I think I think it's stop, stopping some of their key players. You know, they go forward. You know, the likes of uh, Maro and Marco, uh, provide them plenty of go forward there. You know, Sam, Sam Simons in the back row is pretty impressive last week and, and looked really dynamic. But you know, it's, it's the threat of their their back three. I thought Anthony Watson was outstanding. Um, so it's, it's going to be closing them and not giving them any space really to to get momentum in the game. Uh, I thought Italy done not a bad job in the first sort of. 40 or 50 minutes and, um, and England sort of took advantage in the last 20 uh, and we're very clinical so for us if we, we close our threat down pretty early on um, hopefully we'll be in, in with a sniff just enjoy it really it's you know it's uh, slightly different to the millennium it's a little bit more open but um, you know it's still as loud and, and it's a great great venue to play uh, test rugby um, it's probably the second best to the, the principality for me but um, no it's, it's, it's just one of them places you just enjoy playing at and, and, and I think uh, you know the the hostile welcome the the Welsh supporters give uh, the English boys when they come down here. Uh, the Welsh boys get a bit of that when we go back up there. So it's uh, you know it's just a great experience. You know driving through the car park and uh, and seeing all the crowd there and then you know getting onto the field. It's a, it's a great venue. I think so because obviously last week no one expected us to um, to even get on the score sheet and, and challenge Scotland. We've obviously proved uh, them doubters wrong and. And the way we are in Wales, perhaps uh, expectation can change pretty quickly overnight. So, um, but we, we put pressure on ourselves to deliver a performance and, and how we want to play. Uh, so, probably the expectation is probably slightly higher after last week's result. But you know, we're under no illusion how, t- how tough it's going to be up there. Now they, they have tried to evolve and uh, improve the game as, as every good international side has got to do because you sit still, you'll get caught out. And I think. Um, you know, adding someone like um, Sam Simons into the into the back row with um, you know he's, he's slightly different to uh, to Billy and Nathan Hughes there, so he's he's brought a different d- dimension, very very quick and athletic. And George Ford and um, Owen Farrell Axis there is still key for them. You know the way they run the game and uh, the lines they run off them, still their main attacking threat. So you know they have evolved, they have changed slightly, which you've got to do. Um, their wingers work very hard as well. You know, um, Johnny May and Anthony Watson. You know, they're always buzzing around nine, which is a different threat. So, you know, they, they're a quality outfit, and the strength and depth they got is, is probably one of their biggest strengths as well. So, whoever comes in and uh, and steps up generally does a job there. So, you know, it's going to be a, a very tough ask for us. Um, ah, nothing really surprised me about what Owen uh, delivered on the Lions <laughs> tour. Um, he's, a, he's a quality player and, uh, you know, he's, he's an organiser, he's a leader, he's, he's always the vocal one and um, very similar to the players that we've got uh, here with us, um, you know, how, the, how he operates and, and runs their game plan. So, you know, he's, he's a big catalyst for them in, in attack and defence, you know. At 12, he probably is a defensive leader, and then as as a you know he's that second receiver, helping George Ford out there, and um, you know so he he's key to a lot of their play. I've spoken about just being being confident and uh, and backing their own ability up there. Um, we know how good they are. That you know you don't win two titles on the bounce and go in unbeaten for however many games they did over the last two or three seasons. But you know we've got to back our own ability, be confident, and play what's in front of us and. Um, you know, that's, and that's what he's backed us to do, and we'll go and do that hopefully. Like that, he, he's obviously gets the v- feeling and the vibe that we, we all feel in training. And um, you know, from a coach, he takes a little bit of a step back, and I can see the broader picture with it as well. So you know, when you get messages like that, it, it does give you confidence. Yeah, I think we've improved. I think um, you know, from where 
we were last six nations. I thought you know, a couple of results go away. You know, we beat England at home in that in that close game. Uh, Scotland, we, were, we were clearly weren't good enough. The French game, a couple of things go differently. You know, when, and we're finishing the, in the top half of the table. I think uh, we are passing a lot more. We're trying to offload. We're playing more expansive. England are obviously developing as well, but you know we're pretty happy with where we're going, and we are, we're definitely improved from the autumn. I think.